Hi, I'm Ashton. Good morning. It might not be morning for you, so that's like a, not the best greeting, but that's what I'm going with, so. Today I'm doing a Patches and Parley, which, if you don't know, is a series where I sew something onto my jean jacket, and I talk about something political, controversial, queer-related, etc. Um, Parley means like a discussion or a debate, so alliteration, you know. Today I'm putting on this patch. It says young, dumb, and full of existential dread. Um, I got this through Strange Rays, but I believe the artist is Adam J. Kurtz. And I'm putting it on my jacket, and I wanted to talk about virginity. But also, I need to find a needle. So I feel like we all know that virginity is dumb in the, like, traditional way that we talk about why it's dumb, which is, like, it's used to control women because it's seen as like dirty or or like slutty for a woman to lose her virginity but when a man does it it's like hell yeah dude you, you go like fuck those women which is like just really shitty but what i wanted to talk about um also related to virginity is how like just cis normative and heteronormative it is because as a gay trans person for me intimacy is really different than it is for, like, a typical cishet person that the concept of virginity would traditionally be applied to, if that makes sense. Because, you know, people love to see cishets as, like, the only people that exist in the world. And LGBT people are very often erased in the world of, like, pop culture and media. But, like, we're here, we're existing, sorry, hate to break it to you, but the concept of virginity also affects us. By the way, a good thing to do with coffee is I made like regular coffee, put a tiny bit of half and half, and then you put in hot chocolate mix. It's good. I would recommend it. This one's going to be a bit harder to sew on because I'm going like over around where like a pocket is and it's hard to describe but like this is going to take me a while so I have plenty of time to rant about this because I'm ready. But yeah, historically virginity has been used as like both a both a way of putting down women that are not virgins and a possessiveness like virginity used to be used as like when a man was engaged to a woman she would be his virgin which is just so creepy to me like i hate it put it back no so yeah in case you weren't aware the history of virginity is sexist gross slut shamey all of that real great stuff that, uh, you know, is still very often associated with virginity today. Disappointing, but not surprising. So virginity, of course, affects women in a negative way. Um, I mean, not always, of course, because some people are fine with it, but I feel like generally it does imply this very sexist, like, ownership that men have over women and the control that they have, because sexuality is very often perceived as very masculine and taken as, like, adjacent to a very, like, masculine persona. Even just the phrase of, like, taking somebody's virginity just feels so possessive and wrong, you know? But, but beyond that, growing up in a society where virginity is the norm, and not like everybody's a virgin, but growing up in a society where people talk about virginity, and see it as a very heterosexual thing, it was harmful to me growing up. Not only because it's something that made me scared of my sexuality, but because it's something that silenced me. As a queer person, using queer to describe myself not necessarily as a label for others, I don't experience intimacy the same way that a majority of the population does. Because a lot of the times my dysphoria will overlap with intimacy or the, or the fact that my body is very different than cisgender bodies can overlap heavily with intimacy. And the concept of virginity being so black and white, so very tied with monotony that is typically associated with heterosexual couples, it annoys me. And seeing that as normal throughout growing up, I feel like, put me into a mindset of heteronormativity and cisnormativity. But virginity just feels like another one of those things that makes cis people and heterosexual people the norm, you know, like the standard, which just isn't true, first of all. Something that not everybody realizes is that LGBT people aren't just adults. You know, when I was a child, I was transgender. Even if I didn't know it, that still was a part of who I was and was a part of me growing up because I now have experiences that I look back on and I'm like, that was that was me being trans at six years old. I just didn't know. And that may not be everybody's shared experience, obviously. But for me, when I grew up, I felt very alienated due to the experiences that I now see as trans related. And when I was younger, 
I was disgusted by the idea of me being in a relationship with a boy. And now obviously having been in a relationship with a boy that I love for almost three years, that's very different. But what I was experiencing without realizing it was that I didn't want to be a girl. Like I wanted to be in a relationship with a boy, but I wanted to be the boy. Like I wanted to be a boy in a relationship with a boy. That because it was so like seen as abnormal just wasn't what I grew up like knowing that I wanted. And although yes, like the lack of representation and the wider view of LGBT people by society does impact that in a way, virginity still does. Like virginity is still something to me that growing up and people would talk about it and I'd just be like, that that doesn't feel right. Like it just didn't apply to me in the way that it did a lot of other people. Also, virginity is so tied to a dick being present. Like, why is there always a penis, okay? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't like dick because that's not true. But the idea that virginity is always lost with a dick is so dumb. Like, why is virginity so tied to the idea of a dick and penetration? Like, that's not what sex is like for everybody. And it sucks that that's the calmly perpetuated notion that all sexual experiences have a dick and have some sort of penetration because even though for some people, including myself, that may be true, it's not for everybody. And virginity, I don't want to say it's like not inclusive, but that that's true. Like it's, it's just not, it doesn't fully um, encompass everybody's experiences. And I don't see it as uncommon for the concept of virginity and the constant push of virginity to feel alienating and to feel like it's, pushing you away from intimacy because because the way that you experience intimacy and the way that you experience love and sex isn't the same as others. Another thing that virginity has done, like to me in particular, and I'm sure to other sexual assault survivors, is that I really had to relearn my connection with my body and my comfort with myself um, when I, well, I still am in some ways, but when I was truly like originally recovering from my sexual assault trauma. And I wouldn't say I'm fully recovered, but I have learned that my body is mine and that I do have authority over it. And that's something that Jack has helped with and my therapist has helped with. Growing up through the lens of an American child where virginity is seen as uh, like such a norm and such a expectation. It hurt me seeing myself as less pure because I'd been sexually assaulted. And it wasn't my fault. And now I don't consider that me losing my virginity because I, I don't see myself as, like, I, I just don't apply the concept of virginity to myself. Like, I get that it's a cultural norm that is applied to me throughout, but for myself, I don't necessarily, like, see my sexual experience as something that impacts who I am as a person. And I feel like that's another toxic thing about virginity is that it's often tied to like maturity and you can be mature and be a virgin or you can be immature and be a virgin. I'm sure there's some overlap there, but there's no correlation really. Anyways, growing up with the concept of virginity constantly around me did hurt me. And that's not something that I am going to hide. Like it, it hurts growing up and seeing constantly around you the perception that non-virgins with a body like mine are dirty or gross or impure. I had to relearn that. I had to constantly teach myself that that wasn't true. I guess basically personally what I'm getting at is that virginity for me pushed this barrier almost of expectations around me and made my experiences feel inferior and made my life and my identity feel different than everybody around me because I've been sexually assaulted and because I didn't feel cishet like everybody around me did, even though I didn't necessarily have the words for it at the time. Having a different experience than those around you is not inherently a negative thing, but growing up in a society where virginity is very prevalent as a concept, it feels like it. And of course, it's not the only thing, but that's the topic of this video. Like, <laughs> virginity is something that growing up harmed my psyche and harmed the way that I thought about myself. I also want to talk about how there are so many like physical myths that go along with the concept of virginity. Like people know jack shit about hymens. That's basically my, my thesis. Like nobody knows anything about hymens. People know things, but I mean, like the general public and the general perception of what a hymen is, is just so wrong. 
So as for factually what a hymen is, a hymen is, I believe, part of a vulva, and it's often crescent-shaped, but it can also be, like, very different depending on your own genitals, and that's okay. But the hymen is elastic. The hymen changes, and it moves, and stretches, and it isn't popped or broken. Like, if you break your hymen, you're gonna bleed. When people are put through, like, virginity tests to see if they're a virgin, which doesn't work, like, not accurate, um, the way that that's often seen is like, oh, is your hymen broken? Like, is your hymen intact? But, but penetrative sex is not the only way to affect your hymen. Things like doing the splits, riding a horse, intense physical exercise, like any of those can actually impact your hymen because they involve like your legs moving in different ways and such. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Do I need to explain it? Probably not, but I did anyway. <laughs> it's not something that is like reserved for sex. Like the common perception of the hymen is that it's broken through penetrative sex. And if you're gentle, if you take your time, if you do it safely, chances are it's not going to break. It's not going to bleed. Sex shouldn't be painful. And if it is, then there's something you need to work out. Like it's not normal for sex to be extremely painful. Maybe the first time it'll hurt a little bit because your hymen's like moving and changing, but if it's continuously painful, it's not your fucking fault. A very common association with virginity is like breaking your hymen and there's the expectation of it's gonna bleed and it's gonna hurt, but like, that sucks. I'm so sorry. It doesn't have to be that way. It shouldn't be that way. Sure, it's not abnormal to have a hymen that does look different or does function differently and that can be treated. Like the vast majority of what cisgender men think they know about the hymen is just so wrong. It's just not, not true. And it annoys me. It, I don't know why this is like a pet peeve of mine, but when like cis guys talk about like hymens and breaking hymens, it's like such a pet peeve of mine. I, I don't know why. I, I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I just really hate it for whatever reason. Anyways, hymens, they do exist. Like that's fine. But seeing it as normal for it to fucking break and bleed is scary to me. Like, nobody wants that. The association of virginity with pain and blood and breaking your hymen is just toxic and scary, and I'm so sorry to my fellow assigned female at birth people that have hymens that we have to, like, live with that association our whole lives. That sucks. I also wish it was something we were taught about in sex ed. I've done a video before on, like, how terrible and dumb sex ed is, but it, I didn't really talk about this, but I do think it's an issue that we're taught about anatomy in theory, right? Like fallopian tubes, ovaries, but why aren't we taught more about like the vulva and such? Because I know what a dick looks like, like head, shaft, testes, great, fine, we were taught that. Why weren't we taught what the hell a hymen is? Nobody tells you what a hymen is. You're just expected to assume that it breaks and it hurts. Like, ah. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you guys learned about hymens in your sex ed class, but I for sure did not. And I think that'd be a rad thing to learn about. Like, maybe not rad. That would kind of suck, honestly, to learn about. But I would rather be educated about it as, like, a fifth grader than have to research it later in my life and realize, hey, everything I know about hymens is wrong. Anyways, if you thought any of these things about the hymen, I would encourage you to do some of your own research. Those are super duper common misconceptions, and especially if you have a hymen, then I feel like you should know about it. It's not something shameful, like, people just have bodies, and bodies have things that we don't always know the correct things about, including the fucking hymen. <laughs> Anyways, I thought for the end of this Patches and Parley, it would be interesting to scroll through Twitter and look up virginity and see some hot takes about it because Twitter loves to have some hot takes. Oh, this is fun. Somebody tweeted, Today we live in a generation where losing your phone is more traumatic than losing your virginity. Well, yeah, because, okay, you know what I have on my phone? Like, pictures of my friends, my friends' phone numbers, like ways to contact people that I love, my social media accounts where I share things with the world, like, my calendar so I know what the hell I'm doing tomorrow. I have so many important things on my phone. You know what you lose when you lose your virginity? Literally nothing. Like, literally nothing changes. I would so much rather get fucked than lose my phone. This is a very, like, we live in a society that, you know, like, fuck, fuck this. <laughs> yes, losing your phone is a hell of a lot more traumatic than losing your virginity. Big shock. Why is that so bad? Like, why is that in the People are weird. Okay, so somebody 
made a popular-ish tweet that says, if virginity is the pride of a woman, what is the pride of a man? And like, I have some thoughts. Okay, first of all, generalizing the concept of virginity to be the pride of a woman is so fucking gross. And also like, how binary do you have to be? Oh my god. Ah, uh, now this is a good tweet. This is the only tweet about virginity that I'll accept. It says, virginity really just refers to one's proximity to Virginia. <laughs> Accurate, that's good. I'll take that definition of virginity, thank you. Defining someone's worth based on their virginity is just as accurate as defining someone's worth based on their proximity to Virginia, in my opinion. Sorry, like that. <laughs> Anyways, that's my take on it. Virginity is sexist, cisnormative, heteronormative, is surrounded by a bunch of myths, and I just think it's a dumb thing to base somebody's worth off of. Virginity doesn't change your value as a person. You are entitled, you are allowed to use your body as you would like to. It is your body. Nobody else can tell you what to do with it. I wish that virginity wasn't so tied to a person's worth. I wish that it wasn't so tied to heterosexuality and cisnormativity and sexism and it's just a shitty concept and I feel like it's something that I just wish we could leave behind. If you want to have sex and you're doing it safely and you are emotionally ready to and you feel ready to, then go for it, okay? Virginity means nothing. Don't let that stop you. My dog's leg. <laughs> Hold on. Bo. Bo. Why are you laying down like that? Um, that bit of content right there, my dog with his legs splayed up in the air, that is more meaningful than the concept of virginity. That's it. That's my opinion. Goodbye. <laughs> so, that's my rant on that. I hope that wasn't terribly lewd. I mean, I, I don't think it was. It's fine. So, those are all my thoughts. I'd be more than happy to have a conversation about this in the comments if any of you would like to. But yeah, I'm gonna get up and show you my patch. There we go. Young, dumb, and full of existential dread. My jacket is getting pretty full. I want like a small patch to put right here, but, and I have an idea, but I can't find the patch that like I saw a few months ago. So it's like out of stock right now and it's by a small artist. So I don't know if it's going back in stock, but I'm gonna keep looking at it. Um, anyways, thank you for listening to me rant about virginity. Um, goodbye. I hope that you are confident in your own ownership of your body, and if you're not, I hope you can learn to be, and I will talk to you later, maybe.